What's good, Commanders fans? Another day, another win. Um, Marcus Mariota came in and did his thing. He looked like Marcus Mariota Vic at some times. He really did. Um, he was balling out there. But um, we definitely hope for uh, Jaden Daniels' speedy recovery with the rib injury. His mom did tweet out. Uh, his mom, her, uh, let me see what her Twitter is. It's, I think it's like Miss Lovely Jackson or something like that. Yeah, Lovely Miss Jackson. She is his mom and she is his agent, kind of like the game, the show, the game where it was, uh, what was the guy's name? I forgot his name, man, with uh, Tasha Mack was his mom and she was his agent. So it's kind of something similar to that. I believe Lamar Jackson's mom is his agent as well, if I'm not mistaken. But she tweeted out and said that he's fine. He went to the locker room, came back out of the street clothes. We all saw him on the sideline cheering the team on, talking a lot, you know, covering his mouth and whatnot, having conversations that, you know, he doesn't want people to see what he's saying. Um, but yeah, he got, he, it looks like, I guess he got hurt on the 40, 49 yard run or 50 yard run, however however much it was in the beginning. And man, I was like, if he would have played this whole game, he would have had five total touchdowns. He probably would have had three passing touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. Like he would have he would have won NFC player of the week. Like he would have definitely won offensive rookie of the week, but he definitely would have won NFC player of the week for sure. So that that's the most frustrating part about it too. But I do want you know we want him to have the speedy recovery and whatnot. But but everybody's saying that he's fine. Somebody else tweeted out that he was fine as well. Um, Cameron Wolf said, a source tells me no long-term injury for Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels. With Commanders up 37-0, no need for him to return today. Team reevaluates Monday. So uh, Cameron Wolf, who is a national NFL reporter with NFL Network. So, you know, I guess he's got some sources. I guess the source was his mom. You know, his mom already put that out there anyway. And it's so, it's funny, not funny, but Adam Peters, you know, um, somebody on the radio said that Adam Peters texts the parents of how their uh, son is doing if he gets injured. Like last a couple weeks ago, their son got injured, and he texted the parent very quickly with an update and saying, hey, your son is fine. Somebody on the radio said this. I think it was 106.7 a fan. Uh, Grant Danny, I think it was Grant Paulson, who said that that uh, he has a source that Adam Peters told him, or somebody, some source told Grant that Adam Peters texts parents and gives them an update because i remember back in the day when rg3 like his parents would come down to the locker room whenever he got hurt and he's not the only one but you know parents obviously they're going to be concerned about their their child and adam peters makes sure that they're they're plugged in and they that they know what's going on so um but you can see he was grimacing like he like there was one play where he didn't slide he just fell forward and i think he was injured before that even happened and then they had the design run up the middle in the red zone, I was like, Cliff, chill out with the design runs. And it, it just didn't get any better from there. So he got pulled. And um, he tried to tough it out. He threw the ball. Uh, he threw, like, a check down on, on, on the uh, on the third down, like, right before we had to kick the field goal. And, um, he, you know, you can see he was very upset. Like, he tried to tough it out, but he was very upset. And they they, they took him to the sideline. He went to the he went to the medical tent. And then he went to the locker room. But Marcus Mariota, man, he, he, he held it down. Like, I got to give him his props because – a lot of people were down on Marcus Mariota in training camp. Like, talk about how bad he was. Like, Jeff Driscoll, Jeff Driscoll's better than him. Jeff Driscoll should make the roster. Or Sam Hartman should make the roster over Marcus Mariota. It was getting to that point during training camp or preseason. And Marcus Mariota, didn't, he barely played the preseason. He only had that one snap, and he fumbled or whatever. They had, the, they had the botched snap. And then he got injured on the next play. He barely, he didn't play any of the preseason or much of much of training camp at all. So, um, it's good to see Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota, I'm going to vote for him for NFC Player of the Week, honestly. You know, the way that we vote for Jaden Daniels, he was 18 for 23, 205 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Uh, he did come in a little rusty. Like, he missed the pass to Deami. Deami was wide open. Then he had another pass to Deami that was inaccurate. Deami was playing pretty well today. Like, he was getting open. He played pretty well. I think the whole receiving court did a good job. The Panthers' defense is so bad. Oh, my gosh. They are legit historically bad. Like, we could have put 50 on them, but there was a couple times on fourth down where we decided to go for the field goal. And I feel like if we would have went for it on fourth down, we would have got those fourth downs. It was like fourth and two on their 10 or 12-yard line. We decided to kick the field goal with Seabird, and then it was like fourth and three or something like that in their territory. Deep in their territory, again, we decided to go, go for the field goal both times. And I feel like we were aggressive like we've been. And like I said, we have class. You know, we're, I know it was belted. You know what? We have class. And Dan Quinn was going to run the score up on him. I did want to put 50. I wanted to. I wanted it to be a goose egg shout out, a shutout. I really did. And I told you guys, every time we play Andy Dalton, you guys know what happens. 41-16 to 16 when Andy Dalton was on the Cowboys, and then we beat him again. We blew him out the first game when Andy Dalton got knocked out and he was seeing stars. So Andy Dalton, he hates coming into Northwest Stadium. And I know he hates it. And the pick six by Dante Fowler. 
I heard there was a, a barbed wire or a wire, not a barbed wire, but a wire fell on people um, in the stadium after the Dante Fowler touchdown. So the stadium is still needs a lot of fixing upgrades. We just need a new stadium anyway. But if you were there and that wire fell on you, please let me know in the comments because that is insane. It really is. Um, but yeah, shout out to Dante Fowler. Ball is life, guys. Ball is life. We took the ball away finally. We took it away twice. Emmanuel Forbes got an interception. Emmanuel Forbes got in the mix and he got a pick. He got a pick, man. That's, that's how good the defense was playing. Dante Fowler, he should be NFC Defensive Player of the Week to have a pick six. Um, how many sacks did he have? I, I feel like he had two sacks. He had one sack, one tackle for loss, and a pick six. I feel like he had, I feel like he had more than one sack, but he made a couple plays. He was in the backfield all day. He was running around like his hair was on fire. He was balling. Um, Emmanuel Forrest got an interception. So he, the fact that he even got on the field today was a, uh, was a big thing for him. He got a pick. Uh, I thought Mikey Samerson was up there tackling guys. He was tackling a tight end number 80. Like he made a big play tackling him. So everybody was flying around. Jeremy Reeves forced to fumble on a, on a punt return or a kickoff return. Frankie Louvu got a sack. He was flying around. We already know what he does on every game. Noah Ibnagabe had a couple pass breakups. He was in there. He was getting in the mix. Uh, Cleveland Farrell, he looked alive today, stopping the run. And they did a really good job on Chuba Hubbard for the most part. That was the biggest concern for me was Chuba Hubbard. And we held him to 52 yards when Chuba Hubbard has had a couple 100-yard um, uh, games on the ground. Like that first drive before Dante finally got that pick six, like they were moving the football. They had a pass to Deontay Johnson. They had the run by Miles Sanders for 26 yards. Like they were moving the football very easily. And I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a long day. But, hey, we made a play. Like, this defense, we have to force our opportunities. We have to force turnovers. And I knew Andy Dowd was going to give us opportunities to take the football away from him. But, man, the defense, they they the whole defense gets a game ball today, man, to hold it down like that, to help Marcus Mariota, to help Marcus Mariota out like that. Because Marcus Mariota, he was kind of up and down in the first half, and the defense really held it down. Uh, a couple three and outs, some sacks, and getting stops, forcing turnovers. Like, they did a great job helping Marcus Mariota out and giving him good field position as well. Um, so I'm gonna look at my notes here and then look at the stats. I'll look at the stats real quick, but team stats, look at the team stats. Um, third downs, we held them to three out of 10 on third down. That's awesome. 0 for 1 on four downs. We got a big stop. That was Dante Fowler who got the big stop on fourth down. We were five for 10 on third downs. Uh, Marcus Mariota, he did a good job on third downs. He really did. He was running around, moving around, looking like Marcus, Marcus Mariota Vic out there. Um, rushing, we only held them to, uh, 95 yards on the ground. We had 214 yards rushing. Time of possession, that doesn't really matter. We we dominated time of possession, 35 to 35 minutes to their 24. Penalties, we had eight penalties. We got to clean that up. Now, other injuries, Tyler Biotis, he did leave the game. I'm not sure if he came back in or not. Brandon Coleman was evaluated for concussion, but Cornelius Lucas has been doing a great job this year. Uh, Deami was limping a little bit, but I think he came back into the game. Uh, so, I mean, the injuries did kind of pile up, but I, I don't think they're serious injuries for the most part. We'll see what happens with Brandon Coleman with the concussion. And Deami, I believe that he did come back in the game. So, uh, but I'm going to look at my notes real quick. Excuse me here. Um, so, Jaden Hurd on the 46-yard run. I talked about that. Brandon Coleman concussion. Tyler Biotis. Hand injury. Miles Sanders had that long run. Then Dante Fowler had that pick six. That was a huge play. That was so much fun seeing that. Seeing the defense actually force a turnover was just shocking to me. It really was. That was a big surprise. Uh, Mikey Sanders still a pass breakup, on, on, pass breakup that led to a three and out. Dante Fowler, that was his first career uh, interception. I think that was his third touchdown in his career. Uh, Jaden Daniels injured and he had to go out, but you know, I think he's going to be okay. We'll see because it's a big game against the bears next week. So I, you know, I would love to see him back against for that game. Um, Deami Brown was wide open and then Marcus Mariota missed him on that pass on to the sideline. Uh, Frankie Louvre had that sack on third and five. That was a big play to get us the ball back. Um, the Mayo Forbes interception, getting good field position every every drive from the defense, but Marcus Mariota was not capitalizing, but he did on that two minute drive. That was a great two minute drive by Marcus Mariota there. Uh, Noah Brown forced a pass interference that got, got us into the red zone. So that was a great play by Noah Brown. Brian Robinson getting the touchdown there. A number 26 penalty results in a first down. Zach Ertz had a drop. He had a couple drops, but he had a couple of big plays. He did catch that touchdown, so he made up for that. He made up for that drop that he had. And Marcus Mariota actually evaded the rush and made some plays. And Zach Ertz dropped the football, but he, he made up for it on, on, the, on, the, on the next drive. Uh, Marcus Mariota off a little bit to De'Ami Brown. I talked about that. Marcus Mariota, nice two-minute drive with passes to Terry McLaurin. De'Ami Brown and Zach Ertz for the touchdown to finish the drive off. Marcus Mariota on another drive had a nice pass to Terry McLaurin. Then Ben Sennett had the nice touchdown catch from Marcus Mariota. So that was Ben Sennett's first uh, career catch, I think. And that was that was a touchdown. I mean, that's awesome to see that. Uh, and then my other note is Zach Ertz had a false start. And then we had to settle for a field goal. 
I think that we would it would have been forty seven to seven if Zach Ertz didn't have that false start. And Zach Ertz was very upset about that too. Uh, Marcus Mariota, he missed a wide open Austin Eckler on a third down. He passes to Zach Ertz on the next play in the red zone. We had to settle for a field goal. Uh, that's where I said Dan Quinn decided to go to, decided to kick a field goal and have class on fourth down instead of go, instead of going for it. Um, and if you paid attention to the game, of course, Cliff still did a lot of no huddle. He did a lot of up tempo, a lot of no huddle, which I like. That I think that helped Marcus Mariota and our defense out a lot too. Cliff still instilling that uh, up tempo, no huddle offense. Uh, Marcus Mariota he had a spin move on the drive and he got stopped. It was third and two and he tried to do a spin move. He ran outside. And we had to settle for a field goal there. So I mean, Marcus Mariota he had a great game. I thought he had I thought he had an A. I thought he got an A plus from me. Uh, for sure. Uh, other guys stepped up to stop the run. Andy Dalton was eleven for 16, 93 yards, two picks, and it got to the point where they put Bryce Young in the game for he had two. He was two for two for negative four yards. We held we held Ch Chuba Hubbard under sixty yards. Deontay Johnson he didn't do anything. He had one catch for seventeen yards. I was very surprised by that. Now I know he's on the trade block. And he's probably ready to go and leave. But one catch for 17 yards was very surprising, especially against our defense. Now, I do think that they had uh, Ben St. Juice ma matched up on Xavier Leggett, which is a better matchup for him. And I think they had Noah I or Mikey on, um, on um, Deontay Johnson for the most part because Deontay Johnson against Ben St. Juice is just a mismatch. So I think that's the adjustment that Joey Jr. made was having um, Noah, uh, Noah I or Mikey on Deontay instead of having a slower-footed guy like Ben St. Juice on Deontay Johnson, who's just too quick and too fast for Ben St. Juice. So that's a big adjustment that that uh, that that Joey Jr. made. Now, next week against DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Roman Adunze, it's like you can't really just pick and match up who you're going to go against because all of those guys, are they're, they're capable of cooking all of our corners. It is what it is on that. So... Uh, but Terry, six catches for 98 yards. Zach Hurts, four catches for 40 yards and a touchdown. Alamade is the key, four catches for 25 yards. Uh, Deami Brown, one catch for 23 yards. Terry McLaurin had a day with six catches for 98 yards. My goodness. I mean, he's having a great season. Like, he's going to definitely smash the over in the 925 receiving yards on Bet US for sure. Uh, Mike Sarah still seven tackles. Noah I. For you, Lou Deron Payne, three tackles as well. Dante Fowler had a great day out there today, too. And I was really concerned about the defense. Jamin Davis suited up today, too, so that was good. And uh, shout-out to Daryl Green. I thought the ceremony looked good on Facebook, on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. I think the commanders were showing it, so I saw a little bit of that. Shout-out to Daryl Green having his number retired 28. Just a legend, man. Fastest man in the world. And he's, he's still I, – I still feel like he can go out there and run like a 4 or 5 40-yard dash. You look at him training, training Mikey Samuels still. He's running out there, flipping his hips, moving around, and just moving with that speed. He looks like he can still lock somebody up and put the seatbelt on a receiver for sure and get a pick six and get an interception. So shout-out to Daryl Green. Uh, salute to him. Like the posse was there. A lot of people were there. I know it was a good showing. The weather was good. It was a great homecoming game to win a game like that. The only thing that, you know, I, I didn't like is just, of course, Jaden getting injured and, you know, him. This would have been the game where he put up, where he would have put up like five touchdowns. He would have had like 90 yards rushing. Like this would have been the game where he just went bonkers and would have won, like I said, NFC player of the week and all that, you know. So it would have full, full, further instilled his MVP candidate. Uh, race or a uh, candidate his MVP, MVP candidacy 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 at this point so as always left hand up guys let's enjoy this win but we got to look forward to the bears this was everybody was saying this is a trap game we took care of business they are who we thought they were and we didn't let them off the hook we smelled blood we went for the kill off the early off the rip you know we put foot on necks and we, we took care of business so five and two still on top of the nfc east i will be going live tomorrow victory monday studs and duds and then we will move forward to the uh, Bears game, and we'll get an injury update on uh, Jane, Jane Daniels for an official, an official, 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 official injury update on Jane Daniels tomorrow per Dan Quinn. So, um, but that's about it for this, guys. Um, even Marcus Mariota was talking about how good the culture is. Like everybody was surprised about that. No, not surprised, but just enjoying that. Like how how good it is right now. Marcus Mariota, he said, this team is different compared to other teams he's been a part of. So there's a good core group of players that make the days enjoyable. So that's great to hear that about, about the culture from Marcus Mariota. So, all right, you guys, as always, health commanders, peace.